welcome back to my channel, Jamie Friend Colors. I am Jamie, and today I have a little treat for you of a product that I am in love with, and I had a lot of fun doing this, and I want to share it with you and uh, show you what's out there. So, let's see. Today is Monday. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Monday. So usually on Mondays, we do coloring book reviews or something about an artist or in all of their books, a book collection of an artist. But today I have, I colored this beautiful picture with ink tense pencils, which are a little bit different and I'll share a little bit about them with you today as well. But, um, is that pretty? But what I love about this picture is that I'm not going to cut it out and stick it in my binder. I have a binder full of pictures that I have colored. I love that binder. I love seeing the progress I've made from the beginning of the binder to the end of the binder. I, I love that and I love that I have that and I like to share it with people and if someone wants to see, well, what do you do, what do you color? I pull that book out and show them and I love having that. But this product is not a coloring page. Let me show you. You guys, this is a bag! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Look at that! It's a bag. So now I have this beautiful picture that I colored on this beautiful canvas bag. This is a quite a big bag and there's different sizes. I'll show you in a minute. But um, yeah, this is so nice. That picture that I colored, I was able to put my own style into this bag, and now I have it to put my coloring books in, or pencils when I'm traveling, or um, a change of clothes for my kids if that's what I need, or if I'm teaching a lesson um, somewhere at church or somewhere else, I can put my stuff in that for that activity, and have my stuff and have this beautiful picture that is representative of me and what I like to do. Plus I had fun coloring it. So um, this is from a website, a company called Daisy Pop Station. It's all down in the description box down below as well. This is Baby's uh, Daisy Pop Station. Get creative, it'll be fun. And uh, the link will be down in the description box below. And she has several uh, different bags, canvas bags, that you can choose from. This one says, Master Your Thoughts for They Determine Your Future. And I also have this one that we'll color a little bit of today just so I can show you the process. Um, this one says, Today is a beautiful day. And it is much smaller. You can wrap the other one around it. Much smaller and has a longer handle on it as well. So different sizes, you can get on her website and see what she has. Um, I emailed her, I um, noticed that we had some common interest from her website and I emailed her to let her know that I had colored her bag and how much fun I had had doing it. And she has allowed us to have a coupon code, um, just Jamie Fran, and it will be in the description box down below as well. And you'll get a percentage, I think it's 15% off of your purchase of a canvas bag. So she has shirts and other things too, but um, the coupon code will just be for the canvas bags, which is the fun, the fun part anyways. So, um, yes, let me... I'm just looking at making sure I have that information correct. Yes, okay, so she has given us a, a coupon code, discount code. Um, just enter Jamie Fran, J-A-M-I-F-R-A-N, at checkout and get 15% off, which comes to about $4 plus free shipping. Um, the discount applies to the canvas bags only. Um, so, Yes, so free shipping and $4 off or 15% off your canvas bags. So please go check it out, see what other she has. I saw some other cute ones. These are not the only two she has. So um, check it out. 
and I just think it's so much fun and we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how the ink tents work on here and um, how you can get such vibrant colors like I did on this one. So let me uh, change my setup a little bit and we will get started on just showing you how it works. Okay, before we zoom in, um, I just want to say a couple of things as we get started in coloring this is that um, I will, you want to put something hard. This is just a pad of paper. I think it's tracing paper that's about empty, and, but it has a hard cardboard. It fits its right side. So I slipped it in there and I want to make sure that my canvas is as flat as possible under where I'm going to color. And this way it doesn't seep through or anything. It shouldn't. My other one did not. But that's just in case. Plus it gives us something hard to surface to color on so we're not trying to color on too many soft layers. So that is a good idea. Slip something in there. And then, um, yeah, make sure you're, it's soft, pliable, good surface to color on. Okay, so let's zoom in. This is so cute. Okay, so other things that you're going to need, I'm going to do these with the Ink Tense pencils. Um, these are made by Derwent, and I will have that all linked down below. But what is cool about these, I just, they come in uh, pencils and then they come in blocks. I only have the pencils, I haven't played with the blocks. Um, but what is really cool about these is that you can lay them down dry, just like you would a color pencil, lay them down like a color pencil, and then add water, like it's with a paintbrush or, um... guys, where'd my brain just go? A water brush that has the water in it. You know what I'm talking about? One of these have the water already in it and add that to the dry pencil and it will move around and blend together like paint does and then when it dries it's permanent it's ink so unlike our watercolor pencils we if we wet them the color will lift these are permanent okay so that's really cool and exciting on our fabrics and then, just to be extra sure that they're not going to lift, the color's not going to lift at all or move or bleed if we get our bag wet or if we need to wash it, we're going to use what's called a textile medium. So this is the Delta Creative brand, but I think um, probably Golden makes one as well. This is a, probably a much cheaper one, and I find that it does a wonderful job. So this is a textile medium and what it's used for is that you mix it with acrylic paint and then um, you, you mix it with acrylic paint and that makes the paint stick to fabric other than just your canvas boards and your stretch canvas. It will stick to fabric that you can wash and do that way. But we don't have, these are pencils, so we can't mix it right in with our paint. So what we're gonna do is mix it into our water. So we're gonna take, I have it already mixed here. So this is about two parts water to one part textile medium. And it kind of makes it like a skim milk kind of color. And it's just in there and then we'll just use a brush to blend our colors. And this just helps make sure that our color is not going to lift. Okay, if we need to wash it or anything. So, let's find some things to color. Now, my last bag I did a lot of greens, and so this one I kind of wanted to get more tealy and blues instead of the olive greens, because I did a lot of olive greens last time. So. Um, my colors so far that I've used on these leaves, and I think that's what we're going to start with, is maybe do this leaf here on both sides, is teal green, mallard green, and then deep indigo. 
So we're gonna color just like these are dry pencils. You're gonna see that. So Till Green 1300, I'm gonna lay this down, give it a base, my leaf a base coat, just like I do when I'm coloring on paper with my pencils. Get the right there. Now what's nice about her bag and the printing of this is that she has a dark, thicker line and that just helps so that our, when we add our water, we're going to be careful, but when, if we add too much water or something, it's not going to, we have a little bit of area for it to bleed without before it shows up. So we're still going to be very careful about keeping our water within those lines, but it's just nice that we have a nice thick line to work within. Okay, so that was the teal green, and then we're going to take mallard green, and we're going to go right over the top of the teal green and color it just like we do with our pencils. We're just light layers. Put it on there. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge. So just that part we want a little darker. Give ourselves a nice gradient. And then we're going to take the indigo blue and we're going to color it right down in that deep dark shadow. Okay. Looks good. Okay, so that's the difference. This is how it's just colored with pencil, and this is when after we've added our water or our medium. So let me zoom in just a little bit more. All right, here we are. Now I have a um, watercolor brush here. You can use a craft brush that you get at Michael's as well. Um, this is just a paintbrush I don't use very often or at all. I just pulled out of my stash, so. Okay, so I'm gonna take this brush, I'm gonna dip it into my water and medium mixture, and I'm just gonna wet the brush in it. I wanna make sure my brush is not sopping, it's not dripping, it's just wet, okay? And then I'm gonna start by putting my brush where the lightest color is going to be. And I'm just gonna touch that there and then kind of pull into the darker colors, just like we're blending. Okay. If your space is too small for your brush, get a smaller brush. Okay. And then just get into that dark area as well and pull that color, blend it together. I want to start in the lightest area because I don't want to um, contaminate it with my dark color. I want control of what is going to be dark and what's going to be light. So that's why I started there. But then you can blend, pull the darker color up into what you want. See that? Look how vibrant and beautiful that is. It's great. Okay, let's do it one more time. Over here. Okay, so let's take our teal green, base coat it. Okay, just lay down that. And then we're gonna to go to our mallard green, which is a little darker. Lay that down, just don't take it up all the way to the top like you did with the teal. Leave some of that teal alone. Okay. And then take your deep indigo and get into those deep dark shadows with that one. Just like we do our colored pencils. Want those shadows. Okay. And take your brush, dip it in the water medium mixture. Make sure it is not sopping or dripping, that it's just wet. Set it into the light area of your picture and then blend towards the darker area of your picture. I 
we go. I love watching just it just come to life, how vibrant it gets. Now I've tried ink tents in coloring books before and sometimes I find them very frustrating. But on canvas and using them this way, I love them. I think they are such a fun medium to use. I think we can get beautiful color. And I think it's because I want to add too much water to the pencil. I want to really saturate that color that's been laid down and then I warp my paper and I'm not happy. But doing it on the canvas, there's no warping, there's no buckling, There's it feels the same as it did before. And so that's one reason I really enjoy working on the, um, the canvas with these pencils. All right, should we do another color? Let's pick another color to do. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is like starting to crack, guys. Okay, so. Okay, I have picked some purples. And let's do a flower. One other tip I want to add, um, because you, you don't want to work right by what you've just wet. So if you've wet this with the medium in the water, move to something else, like up here that's not touching it, just so that your colors don't accidentally blend or bleed into each other. So give yourself a little space. It doesn't take long for it to dry. So once you've colored something else, you can go back and um, you'll be fine. But just give yourself a little bit of time, a little bit of room, just a little safety to make sure that your colors are not accidentally bleeding together. All right, so I'm going to take um, some purples here. I've got red violet to start with. So I'm going to base coat this in red violet. I'm not adding a lot of pressure. It's laying down just fine. I'm also not worried about filling in the tooth of the fabric, right? Because where that's going to happen when I add the water, the medium. So I'm not worried about that. Just a nice base coat. Okay, then I'm going to take deep rose. And I'm going to put that in here and just not bring it all the way to the end. So we get that gradient. Okay, still just light pressure. Not worrying too much about it. Because the water is going to do the work for us. Okay, then we're going to take deep violet and put that down right at the bottom. Right in the shadow down there. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to go back to the red violet that we started with. I'm just going to go right over the top just to blend those colors just a little bit with the pencil. And then we'll do the rest of the blending with the water. Okay. All right. So you see what that looks like. Then let's take our paintbrush. I want to make sure none of that blue is on there from before, so just kind of rub it around in there. Okay, and then tap it off. Make sure it's not dripping. It's just wet. Okay. I'm going to start in the lightest area. And then work our way down to the darkest area. Something. There we go. Okay, so right up there in the lightest area. And then work our way down to the darkest area. And then smooth out anything you see. If you want the dark up a little bit, just kind of brush it up into there. Have a 
minute that you can manipulate a little bit, but see that? Look how beautiful that is. I love that color combination. That's so pretty. Okay, so let's do it again over on the other side. Get one more practice at it. All right, so let's take the red violet. Base coated. Okay. Then let's take the deep rose and not bring it up as far. Kind of our this is our mid tone. We just And then take that deep violet for the deep dark shadows, very bottom. Put it in there, okay. And then we're gonna take that red violet, just go over it again. Okay, you see the difference? Come on, lighting. Work with me here. Why are you so dark today? See the difference before it's been wet and after it's been wet. I think that's so cool. Okay, so take your paintbrush, dip it in your water medium. Make sure your paintbrush is wet but not dripping. Okay, then tap it into the lightest area and then take it down into the darkest area. Okay. If you feel like you have too much color on your brush because some has lifted, just tap it onto a paper towel or something so that you have just a clean, wet brush going into the next spot. That'll help keep your lights light. If you kind of just tap it off onto a paper towel before you go into your light areas. You feel like you're losing your lights. That's a trick. Okay. There we go. So pretty. So this is not a quick project. I mean, you're gonna, it's gonna take you a few minutes because you gotta lay down the pencil and then you've gotta put the medium on. And if you wanna keep your lights light, you have to tap off your brush. But it's so, I found it very therapeutic and very just relaxing and I could just kind of sink into it and enjoy it. So let's do one more color and then we're gonna call it a day and you can go get this for yourself and do it yourself. It's so pretty and it might be a good present for someone for Christmas that you've made them and put some love into. Okay, let's look at some of these yellow, cent some centers we might want yellow. All right, so I'm gonna start with cadmium yellow. And I'm gonna just Base coat it with cadmium yellow. Okay, nice just base coat of that cadmium yellow, nice bright yellow. All right, then we're gonna take Willow, and this is our deep dark shadow color. So I wanna put this where 
shadows are going to be. So this ball of yellow is overlapping this one, so right behind there. That one's overlapping this one. That one's overlapping this one. Just kind of where they overlap, just put a little bit dark on it. Just like we were doing if we were working on paper with pencils, you know? Regular colored pencils or prismas. Okay. Okay, then we're going to take, what is this? This is Sienna Gold, and we're going to go over the top of that willow and fade it out a little bit. Just like we would with our pencils, just right over the top of that willow. We're not worried about filling in the tooth. The water's gonna do that for us, so we can just do light pressure. We don't have to force it. Which is nice for us, those of us who have hand fatigue or arthritis or anything. We, just, we don't have to work hard for this. Easy, easy. Okay, then we have a few here that haven't overlapped anything, but I'm going to take the Sienna Gold and just put a little bit right on the bottom of them. So, right along that bottom edge. Let's do that over here too. This one. This one. Okay, now I know I've seen like these back here that are really down deep. I'm going to put a little more willow on them. I just want them to really be dark. I'm just going to add a little bit more willow in a few places. Use your creativity. Use your imagination. Think where do I want it to be dark? Okay. Where do I want it to be light? <clears throat> Okay, then take the cadmium yellow and kind of blend over those sienna golden willow. You don't have to go over the whole thing though because you still want that light spot at the top of them. Just over that willow and sienna gold. And just to add a little more pencil. I have something to work with here. Okay. All right, so there it is. All right, so I've grabbed a different paintbrush. This is a round paintbrush, and it's a little bit thinner, and it's a little bit stiffer of a brush that I was using before. So I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna dip it in my water medium mixture, make sure it is wet but not dripping. All right, then I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna start in a light area and blend into a 
darker area. Let's see how this paintbrush does. Okay. And I'm just going to blend each of these circles out. I can easily see which ones have been blended and which ones haven't. Anytime I want to go and keep a spot really light, I'm just dabbing off my paintbrush on a paper towel. Getting more medium if I need it. Ones are dark back in here. So here's just a little bit of what we've done today. Turning out very nice, very pretty. I am really enjoying working on these bags and playing with the ink tents. Like I said, I have not liked the ink tents on paper very much. I probably just need more practice with them, but I am loving them on this on these canvas bags. And I just think this is a wonderful way to um, Put a little bit of yourself into a project, into a bag, something that's usable. It's not just going to go in a binder and sit on a shelf. You're going to be able to utilize this, and I just love that idea. So again, um, thank you Daisy Pop Station, um, Shelly over there. She has given us that discount code of Jamie Fran to get 15% off your canvas bag. Again, the link will be down below. I'm not making a commission. This is just for you to get a discount. So if this is something you're interested, I would highly recommend it. I think it was so much fun to do. Um, it doesn't take a lot of pressure in your hands. And so 
if that's something you struggle with, this is a great, great thing and beautiful to give your giveaway for Christmas too. So go check them out. Go see what they've got. She's got a lot of different, a couple, few different bags, beautiful bags. I loved all of them. I had a hard time picking. So um, subscribe if you like this. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and coloring stuff and crafts and give it a thumbs up. So I know that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.